Hey all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kirsten and we're starting off another weekly vlog. It is Monday afternoon and I've just finished a day of work, hence the attire. But at the end of last week's vlog, I had said how I was kind of struggling with this readathon slightly because of the fact it felt very constraining having to read all the books in order and I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided on Sunday that instead of continuing with my TBR, I strayed completely off it. <laughs> and I picked up A Court of Thorns and Roses, which wasn't even on my TBR for the month, which is very unusual for me. Normally I would wait to pick up books that aren't on my TBR at the end when I have finished them and if I've got time before the next month starts, but I didn't do that this time. And I don't mind, which is really weird because I'm very much a stickler for that sort of thing and no. I just couldn't do it. I have been wanting to read this since I pre-ordered this edition. I haven't read this since it first came out, which was a while ago, and uh, I've just been really wanting to reread it. And this isn't even my favourite one. So for those of you that don't know, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling with fairies, fae, and monsters, and trials, and it's just so much fun. And when I first read it, I wasn't a big of a fan, but the second book, oh, I love the second book so much. And then upon rereading this, it's the first time I've ever reread it, and I was picking up all those little bits that then lead to the second book, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's this bit, and oh my gosh, and that was that, and it just, I enjoyed it a lot. This was a solid four star read, and I'm just so, so happy I read it, because I actually binge read it, and I stayed up really late last night to finish it as well, which wasn't good considering I did have work today, and I'm exhausted now but uh, it was so good, it was so good. But I have actually read a little bit of The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. This is my fourth and final prompt to be a monarch and that was to read a favourite book. Patrick Rothfuss is my favourite author and this is the most beautiful book. There isn't a plot, it's not really about anything, it's just this character called Ori and you're just following a few days in her life and it's just so beautiful and sweet and, and it's full of illustrations so you get pages like this and we've also got a couple of pages with full artwork. I just love this book. I think it's amazing. So I am going to finish this. I'm going to get this read today. It's only 150 pages. I've already read the first 30 while I was on my lunch break so that's going to be an easy one to finish. And then I've got a dilemma. Do I do what I really really want to do and just read A Court of Mist and Fury even though it's not even on my TBR or do I be good and read my book club read for the month which is Burn Cries Me which I actually do want to get read this week because next week there's a potential for another readathon happening that week and the fairy prompts that I have work quite well with the second readathon that may be happening. I'm gonna keep quiet on it because I don't know if it is happening or not, that will be in my next week's vlog. So I do know that I need to get the book club read this week, but <sighs> my restraint is just not there, it's like non-existent. So I think I'm gonna probably just read this because this is my favorite book out of the trilogy and I just, I really, really want more of these characters, like I'm really feeling it. So we'll see how well my restraint lasts. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning and I have a bit of a confession to make. I said I was gonna finish this on Monday and that's not happened. I'm still reading this because instead on Monday evening I started A Court of Mist and Fury and ugh, I'm so happy I did. I'm really enjoying this book and it's just been really nice to go back into this world and just continue on from A Court of Thorns and Roses because as I said this is my favourite one. This is where we meet Rysand and the Night Court and it's just, ah, it's perfect. And I know we've met Rysand in A Court of Thorns and Roses but this is where you meet the proper Rysand, like the real Rysand and it's just, ah, he's everything. It's so good. I'm enjoying it so much but I am still reading The Slow Regard of Silent Things, so I'm reading this while I'm at work on my lunch breaks. So I read this Monday at my lunch break, and I read it yesterday, so I'm up to page 57, and it's been really nice to take it slow for once. Normally when I read this book, I finish it in one day because it's such a short book, but it's been really refreshing to take it a bit slower and to enjoy it a bit more, and because it's such a 
simple yet beautifully written book is very easy to read while I'm at work and I have no problems of putting it back down and I don't overrun on my break so this has been working really nicely so I am planning on reading this when I'm back at work on Friday and Saturday if I haven't finished it by then then Saturday evening I will just finish off this book because there won't be much left but I'm still really enjoying this it's really really nice and honestly this is a first for me to read two books at once this is like I never do but I think because both of these are rereads it's a little bit easier because I know both the stories I may try and do this more often especially with shorter books while I'm at work just because it's really nice to pick up a nice short book that's enjoyable but isn't too heavy in my bag so that's something that potentially I may do going forward but the plan is to try and get this finished up on Thursday so I'm just over halfway as long as I get this finished on Thursday I've then got enough time to read Bone Cries Moon and at least that's two books done for the week because I'm supposed to be reading Slow Read On Sign Things and Bone Cries Moon. We're supposed to read a third book this week for the readathon but never mind. But today I am so excited because even though it looks like it's going to pour it down my brain any moment, which it probably will knowing my luck, but me and my partner are going up central London to go book shopping for the first time in ages and I'm so excited. So we're pretty lucky in the sense that we live 20 minute train journey away from central London, which is brilliant because there's loads of bookshops up there and I just cannot wait. Although to be fair for my partner, he's not gonna be shopping for books. He's gonna be on a game on his phone and shaking his head in despair at the amount of books that I wanna get, but it's gonna be great. I cannot wait. So I don't actually know how much reading I'm gonna get done today, which is why I'm saying I should get this finished by Thursday because I am off tomorrow, but We'll see how it goes today, but ugh, I'm so excited. I just hope it doesn't rain too much. Good morning, it's Friday morning and I am getting ready for work, but I wanted to do a quick update. So Wednesday I did indeed go book shopping and it did rain an awful lot. There was even thunder, but it was great. And it meant that because of all the rain, central London was rather quiet. I really enjoyed it though. I walked along the River Thames, then went to the Little Foils, that's by Southbank, before heading off to the much larger Foils. That was really nice. I forgot to film in the larger Foils shop, unfortunately, but it is a beautiful bookstore. I was just a bit too taken with the fact that I'm going book shopping. We also went to Forbidden Planet, where I was looking at mainly their graphic novel section, and I even went to a second-hand bookshop that I didn't actually buy anything from but was just so lovely to actually be in and walk around again. I really like that secondhand bookshop. They normally have some unusual different books that you don't normally find. It was just a lovely, lovely day and I really enjoyed it. It was really needed after so many months of not being able to go inside bookshops. I have done a book haul video for that. That won't be out until July. I will have the date up here for you. I hope you enjoy it. I had such a good time. But onto actual reading news. Yesterday I did finish A Court of Mist and Fury and I enjoyed it so much. This book we follow Feyre as she is dealing with basically post-traumatic stress after everything she dealt with under the mountain in the first book and we see her character development and her coming to terms with what she had to do to survive and who she is as a person now and what she wants and I really liked that character development that we see in here and obviously we have Rysand who is amazing but we do have the start of an impending war that they are trying to stop from happening. So there is a lot going on in this book. It was really enjoyable and I was very happy I actually did finish it yesterday as I had hoped. However, I did not start Bone Cryer's Moon. Instead, I carried straight on to A Court of Wings and Fury. And I know I shouldn't have, but I just don't care. I'm just gonna say that this week's TBR is out the window and to be honest, I feel kind of good about it because this is really good. I've already read the first 100 pages of this book, which is, I, which I can't really tell you what's happening because it's gonna give away the trilogy too much, but suffice to say, it's really good, really enjoyable. There's a lot of politics in this one. There's a lot of things where the threat of war is now really close to happening so they're having to try and rally forces but obviously there's an awful lot that comes with that especially because of the negative stigma that the night court has attached to them and there's just there's a lot that happens in here i'm really enjoying this reread week which is kind of what i'm calling it so yes this has been great 
I'm happy. I will definitely have this finished up over the weekend, I believe, even though it's a bit of a chunky book. I'm reading it so quickly because I enjoy it so much. However, because I am at work today, I will be bringing the Slow Regard of Silent Things to work for me to read on my lunch break, and I will do the same tomorrow as well. And I am actually at my sister's house tomorrow for dinner, which is the first time since lockdown happened, and I'm so excited to go and see her. So I will be reading this on the bus to her as well because it's about an hour's journey. So this will definitely get finished up. But that's it for now. I'm going to probably catch up with you most likely Sunday because I am busy tomorrow and uh, I really am looking forward to seeing my sister. It's been a really good week really. I've been back to work, been book shopping, get to see my sister tomorrow and I've been rereading A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. This week has been rather good. I finally finished The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. I gave it five stars. I finished it last night. And I'm so pleased I did, because now that's done, I have finished my Monarch Path for the Make Your Myth Taker readathon. So I have finished the Goddess and Monarch Path. I was supposed to be starting the Fairy Path this week, but we all know what happened to my TBR this week. That went out the window. I'm going to be talking about the Fairy Path and the changes I'm going to make, because I have said in a previous vlog and in this one that I just was not getting on with the constraint of having to read books in order but I'm gonna go into a bit more detail next week. As for today, I'm going to spend the rest of my day reading A Court of Wings and Ruin. I don't know if I'll get it finished today, honestly, because there's still half the book to go, and it is a rather long book, but I'm enjoying it. We're on the build-up to the war that's going to happen, and uh, I love these characters. I've gushed about Sarah J Maas' books a lot this week, and this isn't even my favorite series by her, so, I'm just pleased I've enjoyed it. I've definitely preferred the reread to when I first read the books, but I'm actually going to leave it here this week. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I know my TBR went out the window, so it's been a bit of just a binge fest of Sarah J Maas, but I've enjoyed it. I've had a really good week, and I hope you have as well. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All my social media links to my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter will be linked below, and I will catch you in the next video.